summer nights can even turn cold In the streets of Philly when niggas don't even get to turn old My heart pumping to a turn gold You niggas stuck in loops and riding like fuck it, it's a long road Shit, I'm the one, I'm like the lost soul What's good, y'all? It's your main man, Daquan, and I'm back with another video for y'all. And in this video, I'm about to be breaking down how I play on my 6'8 Demigod build. We're going to have a couple gameplays in this video, but in this gameplay, I'm going to have seven shot attempts. We're going to be breaking down each one of them things. And the man we're going up against is this man right here on the left. Pretty okay looking dude. Glass cleaner finisher. He got that gold around his name but look we get the ball pass it off to our first pass it off to our point guard the first possession of the game we get the ball under the paint and then we're gonna break down this first play right here y'all saw we caught the ball and then we did a little some some with it but look catch the ball under the basket and then y'all see we hit a pump fake now that pump fake was not to get him jumping we don't care what he does after that pump fake it's just an empty pump fake just to have something to do after we catch the ball so we're not sliding around after we do try to move out from under the basket which is what we're trying to do we're not about to go up with a shot that we just get under the basket 80 percent chance we're getting blocked if we do go up with that so boom we hit empty pump fake get from out from under the basket now the pump fake you just seen us hit right there that's a real pump fake the one we do want him to jump and then we go up simple as that that's shot attempt number one we're not gonna make every single breakdown as long as that one just to keep the video rolling because it would turn into a 30 minute video but look we're gonna break down what we did in this clip right here we didn't try to do that thing at the end we talked about that in our last vid but look catch the ball on the wing we take a step to the right and then hit a crossover to the left those are just empty moves to see what our defender is about to do we see he jumped we didn't suspect that he thought we was a shooter we're not but to repeat what we did we hit us we took a step to the right cross over to the left to see what he's gonna do now if he did bite on that crossover we're driving to the right obviously now he didn't so what we do is we take a step back now we're resetting ourselves back again if he comes up we could either take it left or right it doesn't matter just because of how forward we are back but what we do we decide to drive in see there's defenders right there now we're gonna reset it again by stopping now this stop move we didn't just do this because we got to think oh what we got to do this move it be making them bite look hey add that to your bag if you need it if your player is able to do that not a lot of big men or just players in general that are slashers are able to move and stop on a dime like that however that stop and go badge is huge now, if you see what we did in this clip right here, we went to the half court line, came back to set the screen, seen our big man bite. So we're gonna drive, obviously that's easy. And then get the ball under the basket, pump fake again, dribble out just like we did in the first clip. And then simple moves that we're using to score right here. Y'all seeing. Now I want you to take a look at a situation like this. There's not a lot of things you can do at the top of the key but again the move i just showed y'all we're coming up stopping on a dime they don't know what we're about to do now if he comes up we're driving right by that man and we are suspecting that so we do do that and then we do that you feel me we dunk the ball now in this next clip right here we're driving up usually in situations like this where there's a big man right next to me i'm not about to take this but it makes no sense to not take this with slash and take and where the big man is however the guard is blocking the big man i've seen that so i just took it up if i have a good dunk package as well i'm not really caring as much but if i don't have a good dunk package obviously i'm gonna care next bucket hit that dumbass shit again and then we're just gonna keep it rolling look game is still going 15 to 20 bow and that shit off 12 points six for seven now we're on to game number two this game we have nine shot attempts the other one we had seven and this is the man we're going up against glass cleaner finisher in total there's gonna be three games in this video but look at this clip right here we give our mans the ball and then we stand in the corner but i want you to pay attention to when we come out of the corner look he's driving in we sense that either he's gonna take a dumbass shot or he's gonna pass the ball and he passed the ball which he did 
but us coming up is giving him space to go back out and giving us more space to reset the ball at the top of the key then we just take a nice simple dunk now this is going to be another one of those cases in this clip right here where there's going to be people chasing after us but in this case right here it's a little bit different because i would not take this right here because look he obviously has the bigger advantage of me in this situation he blocked my shit and again i wouldn't take this up but i'm testing out dunk packages you already know how i do but next clip right here next situation where i get the ball boom we're in a kind of a weird situation being so far under the paint but we can still make it work now as y'all can see again we hit those empty moves we took a step and then hit a cross cross this is again to see what the defender is going to do it gives us time to think and also an opportunity for us to do something with a speed boost coming off of that cross now we don't get we tried to go behind this man with that all that acceleration and all that speed but we ended up having to go into the post because he didn't give us the position to but it's okay we can still make it work so what we do in this situation we try to turn ourselves around by flicking the right stick up or posting up that's going to turn our player around but it ends up making us move a little bit because we were still expecting him to be locked onto us but we do notice something this man is moving a whole bunch all around so what we do we hit a pump fake this pump fake is gonna get him out of position and then after that guess what we do since we see he's out of position a little bit we hit another pump fake and then we go up and then we go up all we're doing is we're trying to do something if it doesn't work then we try to do something else you know what i mean but look another situation where i probably wouldn't go up the man is right there so what we do we stop and then we continue but i want to i want you to take a look at this situation right here i was being a little bit lazy i could have i should have hit a pullback and then continued on to the basket and that's because the pullbacks you get a lot more acceleration but again i was being a little bit lazy but let's continue now in this situation right here y'all seen how we caught the ball and how our position is it's a little bit it's a little bit janky i don't know but now i want you to take a look at the position the position that he's in a lot of people would take this up as a contact dunk you probably have a likely chance but to me it just looks like he's baiting me so again we're just gonna hit that move see if he bites he doesn't so we just gonna take his ass into the post we got a bunch of tricks up our sleeve a bunch of moves in our bag but now again we try to big body our way around this man turn ourselves around and then we go up if something doesn't work we're going to the next thing passing is our last resort in this game because chances are when we got the ball they pass it to us or we got a rebound as a big man that's just the way it is we get all the scrap points but it doesn't matter to us we're gonna score one way or another now in this situation again the top of the key is kind of hard to score not a lot you can do i'm really i'm a really patient player i don't care what it takes but i'm gonna do something to score in this situation right here we've already hit this man with a bunch of stops a whole bunch of hesitation so we just hit a spin move this situation right here we're back into the post again a lot of players they only have one move in the post a drop step you got to add a little bit more to your bag i've talked about videos in the past just a bunch of moves that you can do but guess what we're about to show y'all another one this is another one i showed y'all in the past but look look at all the space we created from that move look how easy it was for us to dunk we made a move we scored out of thin air just like that now in this situation right here testing out another fucking dunk animation i usually don't go for rever reverse dunks but y'all can see i'm going for the reverse dunks in this video obviously now end of the game right here man's got the ball shoots a three greens it thankfully we went seven for nine y'all seen the two shots y'all seen every shot attempt that i had in that video this is our third game the last game this is the man we're going up against and 11 shot attempts in this game first game seven second nine this one 11 we're just going up and up but look get the ball off the rip pull back drive right by this man he didn't know what he got himself into but we about to show this man 
Now look, scores two to two, running around, set this man a screen. Uh-oh, big body, hit a roll, hits us a little bit late. We know this man gonna jump, so pump fake, go up. Bro, this shit is so simple. If something doesn't work, we're going to the next thing. If something is happening, then we're gonna do something to counter that. You know what I mean? Like, we're just working till we're getting every advantage going towards us. In this situation, we thought we had it, we didn't. It honestly looked there, even re-watching it back, but we just continue on. Big fucking screen. Man, drop to the ground. Easy alley. Next point. Next attempt. Hold on. We get a rebound. Driving down the court. Now, we could pass to either one of our teammates right here, but what's going to happen? They're going to get the ball. They're not going to see a shot because it's not going to be there. They're going to dribble back to the top, and that's an extra five seconds shaved off the shot clock we can't drive in because there's people in the paint there's a man right behind us so we reset it and then we go into the paint shake this man and then drive in now i want you to stay to the last point of the video because i'm really gonna break something down that might help y'all out but as we continue on look we're in the paint again push this man out the way dunk on his ass now, what we're about to explain at the end of the video is how you need to learn how to score on every single level of the court. Now, again, that's another shot attempt right there. Ali, we honestly don't really count that. The real only one in this video that we've seen so far is the one where I went up where I thought I had it, but I didn't. The alley-oops and the other one, I don't really count those. But look, shake this man again. This man can't play no defense. He's playing up when he shouldn't. Honestly, his best bet would to be guessing where I'm about to go because I'm going left or right either way. I can only score in one place. I know y'all just peeped that, but we can only score in one place. And to get there, we can only go around you left or around you to the right. So he should just be guessing. And that's another shot attempt. I'm trying to get these reverse animations testing them out. But this is the last point of the video. You have to learn how to score when you're on the three-point line. Say they're guarding you up or not, you have to learn how to get from there to the basket. The next level you have to learn how to score from is from the paint and then right under the basket, which I've showed multiple times in this video. But look, we're at the second level. You can honestly say there's four levels with the half-court line, but look, we just came in from the right wing to the left. This man is on the right side, so he's going to overcompensate and go to the left, drive past him, know he's going to jump, and then we go up. Like, the shit really is simple. I'm trying to show y'all, but if y'all want more breakdowns of different builds, maybe of me scoring on better people or just me having a game where I'm missing a lot of shots, let me know. I can do a defense breakdown. I can do anything y'all want. Just let me know in the comment section. But yeah, if you like the video, you already know what to do.